Thank you. What's going on, guys? Back at you with another video. So we're over here at Las Vegas Fish and Reptiles. And we about to go in here and see what new reptiles they have. Shout out to my boy Andrew, my boy Jeremiah, over at Las Vegas Fish and Reptiles. So we over here with my boy Jeremiah. I brought over my lavender retic to show her. It's been about a year since I told him I was gonna bring her over. Never brought her over, but here he is now. Let my boy check her out for a second. I don't know what this is here. This here is a rhino iguana. Where they come from? They come from like what? Yeah, she don't like nobody. She wants to attack from the big kind of places. Everywhere. I don't know. She will go to places around the Galapagos Island. I'm going around my mama's house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let my boys show you guys a few of the reptiles that they have over here at Las Vegas Fish and Reptiles. Yeah, so let's get into this. So yeah. We have this big male over here. As you can see, he's very docile. It allows you to touch him, rub him. Should have brought him some bananas so we could have fed him. their big Sokata tortoise over here at Las Vegas Fishing Reptiles. You see this thing looks to be about good seven to ten years old. He has to be. You can see the deformity in his shell. This is caused by the lack of UVB through the years of growth. If you don't have the right lighting for them, their shell will start the pyramid or decay. As you can see here, you see the dent in it right here. 
on the side amongst this whole circle you can see it but he's still a good big healthy boy So, like I was saying before, this animal was lacked of UVB, as you can see here, but it's no one to blame, pretty much. This animal was a rescue given to the pet store from someone that couldn't take care of it anymore. But as you can see, it has a nice big home to live in now. Pastel clown ball python? Yes, sir. Got a pastel ball python. Give him a little bit iffy. I don't know how he's feeling right now. He might be upset, might not be. He's going to be too close. Flicking his So what I'm trying to do now is distract him. Because snakes initially are what we call cage aggressive. Cage aggression is where these guys like to show aggressiveness in the cage due to eating in their cage. So you just want to distract them and then grab them. The meat's so attractive too. Yeah, that is fire, bro. The colors are crazy. What is that there? It's just normal. Normal, normal corn snake. Normal corn snake. So if, if you go and get a, a small, smaller corn snake, this most likely what it's going to turn out to look like if you're taking care of it the correct way because that thing right there is black. Look at the colors on it. I don't know, my, my favorite color orange, so I guess that's probably why it's just extreme. Uh, look how smart it is. How acrobatic. Straight into the enclosure. So what we have here is a red foot tortoise. You can see the reds in his foot. This tortoise can be up to about two years, three years old. The tail. That's different. You know this 
where I got all my enclosures from. Every enclosure that you see, you guys see, that's in my setup, I got from this guy right here. You feel me? Hook me up. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty dope setup right here that you guys can have for your leopard geckos, Mexican black king snakes, you see? Smaller setup, but it's pretty dope because you can set multiple animals in your enclosures. What's that? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. That's a whole setup of 20 enclosures and within a seven foot space. That's pretty cool. So what we have here, bro? Right here, I got a hypo leopard gecko. Leopard These geckos are. come from Pakistan. Usually people think these fools come from somewhere out here in Nevada, somewhere in Mexico, they do not. A lot of people think they see these things out here. What people are seeing out here is fence lizards. Fence lizards, fence lizards is what people see. They look just lizards? like these on their babies. Exactly. Right. They got the they same do. stripes, same tail, same face, same eyes. Well, arms. we know because we got a lot of them by the house. Only difference is these ones get about eight inches, fence lizards only get about eight. Centimeters, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's pretty dope, bro. that they had over there at Las Vegas Fish and Reptiles. Jeremiah, good looking bro. Yeah, Tat Tat BMWs and we out. Appreciate you watching. I love you guys. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.